Zodiac signs by themselves are not as significant as you may think. It's the planets, the house position, and the aspects to those planets define how those zodiac signs are expressed and whether you have difficulty with expressing them. Basically, the planet represents what happens. Zodiac sign where that planet is placed signifies how that planet expresses itself. And then the house position signifies where it takes place, in what area of your life you are acting and expressing yourself from that planet and from that zodiac sign archetype. You can't just judge a person by their sun sign and just by the moon sign. You should look at the position of the houses and the other planets in that zodiac sign, okay? And interpret them together. I love the zodiac memes and I create them a lot, but it's just a general representation of the zodiac archetype. Therefore, I want to show you guys how you should read your chart by using the example of my own birth chart. Now, let's take my Cancer in the Midheaven as an example. As you can see, I have Mercury in Cancer in the 10th house. Mercury represents what take place, right? Which is mind communication. Mercury in Cancer, how it takes place, sensitive, nurturing communication, empathetic communication. You understand emotional communication, emotional thought process, very sensitive thought process. It's in the 10th house, it's the public image. So I'm very sensitive to the way I'm being perceived by the public, right? I mean, that was in the past, but just a general idea unevolved Mercury and Cancer in the 10th. <laughs> now, Mercury rules two other signs, which is Virgo and Gemini. Now, we need to find those placements with planets and house positions. So now, look, Virgo is in the 12th house with Venus, and then, and then Gemini is in the 9th house with Mars. So now, my 10th house of public image is related to the 9th house of education, spirituality. So in order for me to not be sensitive, I needed to study spirituality a lot to know thyself, you know, discover my, myself, my soul, so I don't attach to my ego identity too much. Looking at the 12th house is Venus in Virgo against spirituality. So I'm a super spiritual person. So, what, so whatever I learn from these two placements, I pretty much take it out into the public eye and educate people like I'm doing it right now. And this is how you should interpret your chart because you're not just one placement. You may have one placement, but it's connected to three, four other houses, okay? I hope it makes sense, guys, um, because yeah, I just saw a lot of people are a little bit confused in regards to how to read their charts. But if you want to dive in deeper into astrology, I do have some articles because um, like I said, right, I have a lot of passion in astrology, spirituality, numerology, and writing, which is Virgo and Gemini stuff, right? Communication, writing, mental. And I write those articles for free because this is my passion. So go ahead and click in my bio, download those articles. I have 12 zodiac signs explaining every little detail about zodiac sign, okay? And I have the houses, the table with houses, and the planets. So go ahead and check those out.